What's going on YouTube? It's Savvy Sabs and I'm back with another video. So today I decided to do a video about myself um, just to help you get to know me a little bit. So I'm gonna have questions come up left and right and I'm gonna go ahead and answer them for you. So this is a get to know Savvy Sabs video. Before I get started, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe below and I'll be right back. Where am I from? Um, that is a good question. Uh, and it's always a difficult question for me to answer because I don't really have a hometown. Um, I grew up in a military family and we moved every three years. So my parents grew up in Maryland. I was born in Maryland, but before I was even four years old, we already were moving out um to Germany to all these different places so like again every three years we had to move so when people ask me where I'm from I'm usually just like uh different places here and there and then I have to explain the whole I was an army brat like story um if you want to hear more about that I actually have a video called life of an army brat on my youtube channel it, I think it was like one of my first videos either the first or the second video that I ever did uh, so go ahead and check that out and um, you'll find out more details about what that was all like. Where do I live? Uh, so currently I live in the Boston area of Massachusetts. Um, I've lived here for eight and a half years now and I actually moved here from Columbia, South Carolina. And it's just crazy to think that I have been here for eight and a half years because sometimes it feels like I just got here yesterday. So yeah, living in the Boston area. So a lot of the videos and stuff that I do, you might see that I make references to like Boston or Boston sports and stuff like that. And that is because I live in the Boston area and I love it. What is my biggest pet peeve? Oh my God, where do I begin? I'm just gonna pick one of them. Bad driving. I can't stand bad drivers, particularly when people like cut in front of me and they slow down. So then I have to like, you know, slam on the brakes and stuff. Uh, you, when you cut in front of somebody, you're supposed to like keep your speed, like maintain your speed. But I gotta tell you, like in Boston, like people drive crazy. If any of you live in the area, you know what I'm talking about, especially on the Mass Pike. God forbid 93 and 95. Those are highways here for people who don't know. But the, the driving is just terrible. Like the bad driving, yeah, that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves. Where did I go to school? Um, I went to undergrad at the University of South Carolina. Go Gamecocks. Yeah. Our rival is Clemson. And I went to grad school at Northeastern University. And that is actually how I ended up in Boston or in the Boston area. So I had the experience of going to a public university and going to a private university. And there are a lot of differences and if you've been to both you know what i'm talking about um but university of south carolina is what i would call a sports school we have football we have like basketball baseball um, we're part of the sec um southeastern conference for those of you that don't know so we'll play teams like bama and clemson and stuff like that and like those games are just so intense and Going to a sports school was amazing. Um, I, I don't know, you know, how to tell people. It's a big difference going from like a large sports public university and then going to Northeastern, which is a private research uh, university that also has sports. Northeastern has hockey, they have basketball, stuff like that. They don't have a football team. Um, but that's not their primary focus. The hockey team is really good at Northeastern. Um, I think the men's team has won a couple of times, like championships and things like that. So hockey's pretty big there, but it's not to the same magnitude like it is going to a University of South Carolina or a Clemson University like sports school. So yeah, that's where I went to school. 
What do I do for a living? Um, I am a assistant director at a university in the Boston area. Um, so I work in higher education. I do a lot with student involvement. So my role is a student facing role where I do everything from academic advising, registration. Um, I plan all of the social events for students, um, orientation, open house. You know, the typical student things that you do uh, for students when they're in college. And the difference is though, is that I work with grad programs. So I don't work with the undergrad students. Um, and with graduate students, it's a little bit different because they're a little bit older and, you know, stuff like that. But that's what I do. I, I work in higher education administration, and that's actually what I went to school for at Northeastern for grad school. And a lot of people don't know this, but for a lot of academic advising positions or assistant director positions at universities, they actually require that you have a master's degree. And it's funny because like when I was in college, I didn't know that. I didn't know that like my administrators like went to grad school. You know what I mean? Like I just thought it was a job, but no, like I went to grad school um, to do higher administration and I absolutely love working at universities. I'm really passionate about working with students and I don't know if I could really see myself doing anything else like for a career. So that's what I do. Something people would be surprised to know about me. Um, so when I was in middle school and like, this is really going to probably trip some of you out because some people don't even know that I can do this. But when I was in middle school, um, my friends and I, at one point we were offered a record deal. Um, I was very active in like talent shows and things like that when I was in middle school and like, yes, I can sing. Um, I used to sing better back then. I could hit higher notes back then, that is for sure. Uh, but we had like a little girls, like, you know, singing group and we used to like sing songs from like SWV, like TLC. We competed in talent shows for that. Um, and I wasn't even like the best vocalist in the group. But the thing was when all of us were together, we sounded really good. And like, I didn't even realize at the time, but I look back on it, like we were really good together, like as a group. And one day we were at this recording studio on bass, and this was in Hanau, Germany. And this guy was there and he was a producer, or that's what he said, I don't know. And he heard us singing. And the reason why we were there is we were actually rehearsing for the school like talent show. And he heard us singing and he walked in and he was like, sing it again. And <laughs> first we were like, who is this? What? <laughs> and so we, we sang it again for him. And he was like, you girls have something. You are really good. He said, I could work with you. I could coach you. You know, um, I would like to like get you where you need to be. And, and, and we can work out a record deal now we were just shocked and like who is this guy like seriously like who are you um but he actually was legit and unfortunately it didn't we didn't get to that level some of our parents just did not feel comfortable about us pursuing that or doing that um and they wanted us to focus on school and they didn't want us to get involved in the entertainment business um but yeah like we <laughs> almost could have had a a record deal and back then we were pretty talented like we were writing music like we wrote our own songs we recorded our own songs I had a little mixing thing in my room that I used to do um, for us to be 12 years old you know we were really good and, and not to toot my own horn but I look back on it and I'm like wow you know um, but we were also very young and now that I'm older, I do understand why some of our parents did not want us to, to do that path. But your girl almost had a record deal. What am I a fanatic about? So I am a huge, huge sports fan. I love sports. 
Um, I'm a big Patriots fan, Celtics, like Bruce, I love all of that stuff. But I actually got that from my dad. Um, when I was a kid, we used to like watch like basketball together and things like that. And this is back when like Jordan played and Pippen and 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 Shaq and, and Anthony Hardaway and like all of them. And it was just back then like professional, like NBA was exciting to watch. Like it's still somewhat exciting now, but back then, like you just wanted to see what Jordan was gonna do. Michael Jordan was like, I mean, he was Air Jordan, you know? So I was a little kid, like when I started watching sports um, because of my dad. So we would watch like the Bulls play people and stuff like that. And then um, can't forget like Sunday night and Monday night football. And then I got into that and football became like my favorite sport of all of them. But, but yeah, um, huge, huge uh, sports fanatic. I even had, I don't know if you guys remember these, but starter jackets. I had a 49ers starter jacket back in the day, back when it was like Joe Montana. And then later on when it was Steve Young and like all of us had like starter jackets of different teams. There were some cowboy fans over there, but I don't wanna get into that one. But uh, yeah, definitely a huge sports thing. I could sit down and watch a game like that. What am I currently watching right now? So now that I'm done with Tiger King and I've finished that, I've actually been watching this show on Netflix called Ozark. Um, it is amazing. Like you can't even like fathom it's i'm not going to give it away but it's about this guy who is a financial um advisor and he is involved with some shady people that's all i'm gonna say because i don't want to tell a story but um it is phenomenal and i can't stop watching it so i'm not gonna say it's like as great as breaking bad but it has me amped to that point where like i can't stop watching it like just like I was with Breaking Bad like I have to watch the next episode I have to watch the next episode so yeah um Ozark on Netflix that's what I'm watching right now okay uh something about me that drives people crazy or irks people I guess is that I don't put up with any BS <laughs> like not at all um I am direct and I am very direct with my communication and sometimes that can come across to people as though I'm being mean or I'm being cold. Um, that is not my intent. That's not, that's not how I mean to be. That's just, that is how I communicate. And there have been times like when I've had to like adjust that and tweak that uh, depending on who I'm communicating with. Um, but at my core, I am a direct person and I know sometimes that just drives people crazy because they, they want to get more out of me and they want me to be a little bit softer with my tone and stuff like that. But, uh, I, I just don't, I don't, you know, I don't put up with any crap. Like if somebody tries to like, you know, say something to me and I know that it's not cool or that's not appropriate, I'm the type of person that will address it. And a lot of times I'll address it right then. I've gotten better about picking the time and the place, but I just don't put up with, with BS. And, and the reason being is because growing up, like I was very shy, believe it or not. And sometimes as a kid, when you are shy, naturally it's easier for you to get picked on and bullied and stuff like that. And I had to learn how to like stand up for myself and I had to learn how to defend myself and to to make people realize that like no you can't just walk all over me and so i had to make a decision am i going to continue to let people like walk all over me and treat me a certain way or am i going to stand up for myself and be more vocal and what i found is that when you stand up for yourself more and you're more direct and you're more vocal people are less likely to push you around um and that just became who i am so <laughs> especially like as i get older i care less about what people think um and some people are not okay with that but one of the things i've learned is that you can't please everybody and if you live your life trying to do that you will be very unhappy so i'm direct if i didn't live in the boston area where else would i live 
Whew. That's a good question. Um, I used to say California, Southern California to be, you know, particular here um, because I thought, you know, it's sunny, it's warm, nice weather. Um, but then I thought about the fact that I actually do like having four seasons. Um, so if I did not live in the Boston area, I would probably go back to New York. Like that would probably be my next, um, pick there. Now I've lived in New York city before, but maybe like suburban New York outside of the city. Um, yeah, it's funny how things change, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I, you know, I love the beach. You know, I love that kind of stuff, but I just think that there's something about having a fall, a winter, a spring, and a summer, and I like having all four seasons, and I don't think I would want it to be warm the whole time, so I'd probably say New York. What is my nationality? Um, I'm American. <laughs> um, my ethnicity is I'm African American, even though we're mixed with different things like throughout my family, but the predominant is African-American. Um, it's funny when people ask me like, what's my nationality? Because when I lived down South, like no one ever asked that. But <laughs> when I lived in New York, New York City and when I moved to Boston, I know people ask that a lot. I've noticed like, what is your nationality? And I think it's because like with those two cities, there are a lot of, um, they have large immigrant like populations and stuff like that. Um, but it, yeah, it's it's still still funny to me. I've I've heard it all. I've I've heard that I was Dominican. I've I've <laughs> I've, I've been told that that I was um, some um, Somalian. I've been told I was like all these different things other than what I really am, which is American. <laughs> oh, final question. Um, what do I wish were different about the world? That's a big question, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, one thing I wish was different about the world is that I wish that people across the globe um, were more understanding and more open to um, seeing where other people are coming from and that's in reference to how people think, how people feel, what people believe, like all those different types of things. Um, I do feel like we are living in an environment now where we are, particularly for America, I feel like we are very much divided, um, whether it's politically, economically, economically is, is a big one that I think doesn't get talked about a lot, but I just feel like we are very divided and I feel like it's gotten to the point where people don't want to hear what other people have to say. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, talk where if someone doesn't agree with you or you don't agree with them, people are just like, you know, I don't want to deal with you or, or whatever, instead of like listening to people and hearing where they're coming from. And it has to come from both sides. And having just one side be willing to do that is, is not going to work you have to have both sides be willing to to do that. There's just a lot of hate in the world, like right now, just angry bitterness. And it's just so ugly. It's disgusting, actually. Um, that is one thing that I, I wish would change about the world. I wish people would just be more receptive to hearing where other people are coming from, so. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope this was a little informative for you. I hope you got to learn a little bit about me, where I'm coming from, who I am. Um, I started my YouTube channel September 2019. It hasn't even been a year yet. Uh, so I'm enjoying what I do. Something fun for me to do on the side. And I try to cover different things here and there from vlogs to, you know, things about what's going on in the Boston area, like where I live. Um, but typically my channel is how to's and product reviews. <laughs> that's, that's really what I like to focus on the most. So it is what it is till next time, guys.
Bye.